When he was visiting India, Sam Altman said that it was totally useless to compete with OpenAI on foundational models. But this one-year-old Indian startup has already built a foundational model that's outperforming OpenAI's GPT-4. In fact, only about 15 companies in the entire world are building foundational models, and two of them are working on them right now here in India. But that's not the only development that's happening in the country when it comes to AI. The government of India has also approved an investment of more than 10,300 crore rupees into the India AI mission to develop AI models. Suffice it to say that things are changing very quickly right now in India's AI space, and that's why we wanted to make this video talking about 10 more Indian AI startups that are helping to bring this change. And I say 10 more because this is actually part two of a two-part series. The first part we recorded in 2023, and I would I would highly recommend that you go check that one out first. You can find a link to it in the top right corner of your screen. Go watch that first and then come back to this video if you haven't seen that one already. The first company on this list is Mumbai-based Orbo AI, and you might recognize these guys from Shark Tank India Season 3. The startup was founded by Manoj Shinde, Abhit Sinha, and Danish Jamil in 2019, and basically what these guys are doing is helping personal care and beauty brands lower their customer acquisition costs. See, the reality of this industry, the beauty and cosmetics and personal care industry, is that oftentimes customers actually want to try the product, they want to put it on their face before they decide to purchase it. And if they can't try these products on, if this is all happening online, then they're far less likely to go ahead and actually make the purchase, which is where Orbo AI comes into the picture because they offer products like virtual makeup and virtual hairstyling, which allows users to try products on virtually at the click of a button. Now, they already have five of these AI-powered products available in the market, and for their customers, it actually costs less than a single rupee per customer per try, but it helps to increase their conversion significantly. But that's not all, because Orbo AI is also offering something new called Beauty GPT, which combines all of their virtual try-on products and lets people try on multiple kinds of makeup and basically recommends the products that they'll need to enhance that look. And it was this product, specifically Beauty GPT, which helped them raise one crore rupees in exchange for 1% equity from Vinita Singh, valuing their company at 100 crore rupees. And Manoj told me that the day that their Shark Tank India episode went live, more than 22,000 people started using their product in just 24 hours. Right now, they have more than 20 enterprise customers and 123 more in the pipeline who want to use their product, 54 of whom reached out to them after the airing of their Shark Tank India episode. All right, moving on to the next company in this list, we have Models Lab. And this company was actually founded by a friend of mine, Adhik Joshi, and basically what he's doing is offering a one-stop shop for all of your AI needs. They're pretty much offering every API that you'd need to build your own AI product, right from text to image generation, to training LLM models, to voice cloning. So instead of going to multiple AI websites and subscribing to multiple plans, all you'd need is just one subscription to Models Lab. And according to their website, more than 800 million images have already been generated through their platform. And Adhik told me that even though they're only offering paid premium plans right now, they have more than 150,000 users actually subscribe to their services. And the most impressive part is that Adhik has completely bootstrapped Models Lab and built a profitable company. But that's not the end of his dreams. See, now that demand for Models Lab is increasing, Adhik told me that they're planning on investing $1 million into building their own AI data center to make their entire operations even more efficient as they're intending to add more AI offerings to their platform in the future. Oh, and one more thing that I thought would be worth mentioning is that Adhik is also helping other entrepreneurs who are building their own AI startups by offering them a GPU grant. So if you want to know more about how you can gain access to that GPU grant, then you can get in touch with Adhik through the company's website, and I'll be putting a link to that in the description and also in the pinned comment down below. And big thanks to Models Lab, by the way, for making this video possible. All right, next up on this list, we have a Bengaluru-based company called Neural Garage. Founded by Mandar Nadekar, Anjan Banerjee, Subhabrata Debnath, and Subhashi Saha in 2021, Neural Garage is solving a pretty unique problem, the problem of facial expressions. So if you've ever watched dub content, let's say a Korean movie in English, for example, then you've probably noticed the fact that the lips and facial expressions don't at all align with the audio in the movie, right? And that's the exact problem that Neural Garage is solving with their patent-pending AI technology called Visual Dub. And just take a look at this clip to see what I'm talking about here. Myself, Ghanshyam. This online grocery shopping ke chakkar ne mujhe ghanchakkar hi diya tha. Na chakravarti. Online grocery shopping in Chakratukulamati, Tala Chakrama Sutuchi. 
মাইসেলফ নারায়ণ এই অনলাইন গ্রোসারি শপিং এর ঠেলায় একেবারে না যে হাল হয়ে গেছিলাম So at a very high level the way that this product works is you feed the original video along with the dubbed audio individual dub and the output is content that looks and feels authentic and not just dubbed. In fact when I spoke to Mandar he told me that companies like Amazon, Coca-Cola and Microsoft have already used their platform to create localized ads. And while Mandar didn't specify any names he did say that some very big studios and streaming platforms are also testing their tech for their content and they've already raised 1.45 million dollars and are in the middle of raising another 5 million dollars to further strengthen their technology platform. All right, moving on to the next company in this list, we have a Bengaluru-based precision spraying startup called Nico Robotics. And I know that this one sounds a little bit boring, but stick with me here for just a second because I'm going to show you how this is one of the most disruptive AI startups in India that's making a huge impact on the lives of farmers and the food that we eat. So, first of all, here's Jai Singh Harao, the founder of Nico Robotics, explaining what his company does. So, as the sprayer moves, the camera real time detects where should the spray be applied. specifically on the plant and it turns off the nozzles where there's no plants Now the way that he's explaining this makes it sound pretty simple but there's actually a lot going on here because this tractor has multiple AI enabled cameras and every time it sees a plant it does three things it takes an image it analyzes that image and then it decides if that plant needs to be sprayed with the pesticide and chooses to spray it or not and this is all happening in just 150 milliseconds that's almost as long as it takes for you to blink your eye so what this means overall is that less pesticides are being used and also this small action is actually helping farmers to save up to 90% of their chemical costs. And then on top of all of that, this is actually affecting people's lives, their health because it's reducing the amount of pesticides that's going into food via the soil, which is where oftentimes a lot of pesticides end up being sprayed. Over the last 5 years, Nico Robotics has captured more than 8.2 million images across 7 crops, which has enabled the company to improve the efficiency of their AI model to the point where today more than 2,000 farmers in India have already adopted Nico Robotics AI camera enabled spraying solution. All right, next up on this list, we have a Chennai based company called Sarvam AI. And if you want to use OpenAI to build an app that doesn't use English, it's going to cost you up to 15 times more and the result is probably not going to be as good because these large language models just aren't really focused on training their AI models for other languages, especially Indian languages. And that's exactly why Vivek Raghavan and Pratyush Kumar started Sarvam AI in 2023. At that point, they'd already launched their first Hindi fine-tuned LLM in their Open Hathi series which is built on top of Meta's Llama 27B model. And at this point, they've already reduced the number of tokens used to create content in Hindi by up to 3 to 4x. But why is this important? Well, it's because the number of tokens used actually increases the cost of using OpenAI or any other LLM for that matter. And this means that if companies can reduce the number of tokens used, they can also reduce their costs. Now, while Sarvam AI wants to build more fine-tuned models for other Indian languages in their Open Hathi series, this is actually just a stepping stone for them in their vision of building Indian language foundational models. And that means that they'd be building these models from scratch and not using existing LLMs like OpenAI or Llama in the future which is really ambitious for a company that's less than 1 year old. In fact, they've also raised 41 million dollars to build their entire suite of generative AI offerings for businesses. All right, next up on this list we have Mumbai based babblebots.ai and the reality here is that hiring new employees is expensive. In fact, according to one report, the average cost per hire is almost $4,700, but some companies put this number much higher, as high as 3 to 4x of the salary of the position for which you're hiring. And there's definitely some truth to this estimate because every time you make a new hire, it's not just the HR department that's involved. There's also a senior professional who's responsible for analyzing the technical skills of that candidate. And the more interviews that person takes, the more time it actually takes away from them doing their real job, which is a huge problem. And this is why a lot of companies just hire an organization. They outsource this job to do the hiring for them because they don't want the headache of doing it themselves. But Rohit Gupta and Dhruv Jaglan found a better way in 2022 when they started Babel robots.ai Their company is using advanced LLMs and their own proprietary voice AI to build AI recruiters. And these AI recruiters are kind of like magicians. Yes, they can schedule calls with candidates, but they can also take entire interviews all on their own, understanding candidates and their skills and even creating a detailed report and shortlisting the top candidates for the company that they're working for. 
In fact, when I spoke to Dhruv about this, he told me that one of the longest interviews conducted by their company was done by Tina, their AI recruiter, and it lasted for more than 70 minutes. And at the moment, there's more than 70 companies already using their platform to conduct over 10,000 interviews. All right, moving on to the next company in this list, we have Bengaluru-based Unscript.ai. So I've been creating videos for this YouTube channel, Backstage with Millionaires, for more than five years now. And honestly, creating content sometimes can be tough because even if you're tired, even if you're sick, you kind of still have to post the video because if you stop, then the algorithm will stop recommending your content and your channel can kind of slowly die. But the thing is, if I'm feeling sick or I'm feeling tired, then the video quality is going to suffer because I'm not going to be narrating or presenting in quite the same way that I normally would. But imagine if there was a version of me that could create these videos even if I'm feeling sick. That sounds pretty cool, at least to me, and now it's actually possible. So Unscript.ai was founded by Ritika Chaudhary and Aporv Jain in 2021, and basically it lets you create your own digital avatar, and then you can train it using your own videos and audio. And when we talked to Ritika, she actually told us that you can get started by training their AI model on just about 10 minutes of your own content. And then once that's done, you can simply use your digital avatar to create content for you by feeding it an entire script or giving it some prompts alternatively. And this is pretty amazing stuff. Obviously, this technology is still in the early days, but eventually I can imagine that this technology, this avatar would actually be indistinguishable from the actual creator. And Rithika told us that even though their technology can be used to create movies, right now they're more focused on marketing use cases, enabling businesses to increase their conversion rates by creating personalized videos at scale. And according to her, more than 40 companies have been able to create 20x more videos in the same amount of time and increase their conversion rates by more than 30%. But there's more good news here because Unscript is planning to launch a public version of their platform for content creators and anyone who wants to build their own digital avatars. All right, coming up next on this list, we have Mumbai-based Cure.ai. And this company was founded by Prashant Warrior along with Pooja Rao in 2016. And basically what they're doing is using AI to automatically interpret x-rays and CT scans to provide detailed reports to radiologists. These AI interpretations can detect with a high degree of accuracy if patients are suffering from tuberculosis or if they're at risk of suffering from heart failure all in under one minute. And this is really crucial stuff because there's only about 20,000 radiologists in the entire country of India, which means that there's one radiologist for every 70,000 people in the country. And that's the reason it can take around four to five weeks to get a radiologist to interpret an x-ray. But by that point, it's already too late for the patient. So today, Cure.ai's AI healthcare solution has helped more than 1.6 crore patients across 85 plus countries in the world. All right, moving on to the next company in this list, we have an obvious one here, Bengaluru-based Krutra. AI. Founded by Ola's Babesh Agarwal in 2023, Kruchum has claimed to be India's first AI unicorn after they raised $50 million in January of 2024. And they're one of the generative AI startups that's trying to build large language models for Indian languages like Sarvam AI. But while Sarvam has yet to start developing their own foundational model, Kruchum has already started working on theirs and it's been open for public beta testing. Now, that isn't to say that there haven't been a couple of controversies regarding the authenticity of Krutram's claims of building a foundational model, but the startup does have some very lofty ambitions. For example, they claim that their chatbot is better than GPT-4 in multiple Indian languages, but their grand plan is to build an entire AI stack for the entire country, for all of India. Now, what does that actually mean? Well, it means that they wanna build everything from the chip that powers their AI to the apps built on top of the AI models developed by them. And they wanna do this all from scratch. And honestly, what I've seen at this point from Ola Cabs and Ola Electric is that Bavish is actually capable of delivering on these grand visions, even if the path to get there is full of a lot of roadblocks and sometimes some corner cutting too. All right, next up on this list, we have Delhi-based InsureStack. Founded by Shivam Kaushik and Mayan Kansal in 2022, InsureStack is basically a generative AI-powered search engine for insurance. See, understanding insurance policy documents can be a pretty huge headache. So InsureStack has developed a platform where insurance professionals can simply type in their questions about any policy and get the answers that they're looking for and even compare multiple policies without having to go through hundreds of pages. And this can save a ton of time for these insurance professionals. And not only that, it'll also give them the ability to give more accurate answers to their customers, which can significantly increase increase their sales as well. And this innovative startup is supported by both NVIDIA's Inception program and also Microsoft for startups. And then finally, we have Bengaluru-based Beethoven.ai. 
So this company was founded by Mansoor Ahimad Khan and Siddharth Bharadwaj in 2021. And basically what they're doing is using AI to create premium quality royalty free music to be used by millions of content creators. And again, being a YouTube creator myself, finding the right track for our videos is actually really crucial sometimes and it can make or break the performance of these videos. But the unfortunate thing is that we often have to go through hundreds and hundreds of tracks just to find the right one for each video. And that's a problem that's faced by pretty much every content creator right now and that's what Beethoven promises to solve. You can simply feed this AI the kind of music that you want and its duration and leave it to Beethoven. So it uses its own AI model to create the right music based on your requirements and all this is happening without you having to know anything about music. And if you want something super specific too, then you can use their chat prompt to tell it exactly what you want, kind of like you would use ChatGPT. And today, Beethoven has already raised more than $2.4 million, and their platform is being used by over 600,000 users to create premium royalty-free music around the world. Oh, and the most impressive part too is that they've managed to get all of these users without spending a single dollar on marketing, which is incredible in my opinion. But anyways, I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to check out part one. If you haven't, you can find a link to that in the top right corner of your screen, and I will catch you in the next one.